so. Here you go. This is Wisdom of Solomon 17 and 1. For great are thy judgments and cannot be expressed. Therefore, unnurtured souls have erred. Yeah, because you ain't been nurtured. Nurtured, that's where you get the word nutrients. Mm. You ain't got the essential vitamins and nutrients that one needs that's to sustain true, yourself. That's not true, man. I have, a, I have, have a good no minister. Nutrients. I have a good minister. Mm. What minister? His name's Henry Park. I mean, he talks to him on a weekly basis, man. I, I see how God is nutrient. Um, it's, it's, so is, is your minister the one that life. told you that the Lord was not the Son of God? No, man, that's my own belief. Oh, that's your own belief. There yeah. you go. He is saying, for, for when unrighteous that? men thought Testament. to oppress the holy nation, they being shut up in their houses, the prisoners of darkness, and fettered with the bonds of long night, lay there exiled from the eternal providence. For while they supposed to lie hid in their secret sins, they were scattered under a dark veil of forgetfulness being horribly astonished and troubled with strange apparitions. Yes, yeah, so Lord, you're going to be horribly troubled by them apparitions. You know what an apparition is? Defined in, in the biblical terms, define an apparition. A ghost, brother. Motherfucking spirits, mm -hmm. ghosts, gas. Freddy Krueger. Yeah, it's it. <laughs> Freddy Krueger. They get your ass in your, you'll have nightmares. You're going to have night terrors. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You sweat, wake up in the middle, you sweat. I sleep like a baby, man. Oh, not, not for now on, not for long, long. not for long. <laughs> For neither might the corner that held them <laughs> keep them from fear, but noises as of waters falling down sounded about them, and sad visions appeared unto them with heavy countenance. All right, you gonna have some you should be talking to God about to this guy right here. Fuck that guy. He's over here hustling people. We already cussed him out. We already cussed him out a few months ago. Oh, so I got us dealing with you right now. Yeah. Right. Lee, he got me dealing with you, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> he got his dealing with I've been coming out here consecutively, consistently. Yeah, you ain't came out here. <laughs> I'm out here all the time, He's man. talk to you like three, four times. You've been out here for six years. Mm. I've been out here for two years. You talk to me more than three, four times. Don't deny the truth, man. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You need some money? Yeah, I yeah, yeah. sleeping the same sleep that night which was indeed intolerable and which came upon them out of the bottles of an inevitable in 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 hell were partly vexed with monstrous apparitions and partly fainted their hearts failing them for a sudden fear and not looked for came upon them yeah because you already got those spirits on you so soon they'll manifest themselves in a, maybe a visual form your dream and you are the spirits is already there they're on you mm -hmm. i can sense them bro that's why you come out here and you're saying <laughs> stupid shit more worse than the last time you come out here every single time legion. i came out here you be saying i said stupid shit man that's you do. all you say you can't help it, it. we gotta but be I'm honest speaking the truth we gotta like keep it real i've been doing every single time we're keeping it real you, 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 you get seven times more you believe deep. in a man dude. each time you, you come out here you, you believe got in more a human being each time you come out here you got more demons than the last time you came yeah, out here i mean i can say the same the first time we talked to you you sounded the most intelligent the first time we talked to you each time you come out here, you sound more retarded. Because mm. the most high is fucking you up. Listen to this. You said the, you said the one that called Jesus ain't the son of God. So that's blasphemy. Just John 3. You like John 3.16, right? John 3.18. He that believeth on him is not condemned. So these are red, <laughs> these are red letters. He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. That's bad. That's so you nice. reject you reject the Son of the Most High. He gonna reject you. I reject the faith. I, and I'm not mad either. I'm not mad at you. That, that was yeah, you, you actually fulfill the prophecy. You fulfill the scripture when you reject. It. Here you go, bro. This is going with you. This is Wisdom of Solomon 11 and 13. For when they had heard by their own punishments, 
the other to be benefited, they had some feeling of the Lord, for whom they rejected with scorn when he was long before thrown out at the casting forth yeah. of the infants. He, he rejecting the Lord. He's angry about the Lord being the son of the Most High. Yeah. That makes you angry. Not angry. Hey, you are angry. You cussing. You get angry. He cussing all the time. He's got to smoke. Shut up, bitch. But you just cussed me out of $3 and then went and cussed somebody ginger else bitch. out of $3. That's you called ginger a lie, bitch. my man. Get on the bus, please. You know why? Get on the bus, my man. You know why? <laughs> Thank you. Come over here and say it. <laughs> Hell no. Actually, I was riding the bus. I seen that dude on the bus. I right. know he ain't say a goddamn thing to me. Right. I've right. never seen him before in my life. Yeah, we should go out here sure. No, he was sitting right by me on the bus. He didn't say shit. Right. Well, it was just How me you gonna ask me for three dollars and then go ask somebody else pussy, for more man. money, man? Like that. pussy, man. <laughs> That's called. Hypocrisy. Why? Well, the Bible says, "Don't be doing good to the ungodly, man." We just can't do that before. <laughs> that dude's out here begging everybody. Begging everybody. Come and, down and, here. There, there's a difference when you help somebody who really needs it, mm -hmm. than a motherfucker who goes and asks every last person on the street for change. That motherfucker probably got a pocket full of money. Yeah, that's not the type. That's not who you help. That's a motherfucker scam. Actually, this scriptures in the Bible that talks about the beggars standing at the gates. Mm -hmm. Talking about all they do is beg, and they ain't supposed to be begging like that. Big. Because some people, you, they deserve to be helped. And you can tell by the spirit. They have a good spirit on you. can sense the spirit. Mm -hmm. To the Holy Spirit revealed to us who is wicked and who is, who is righteous. We know who that through the spirit. It's about look, we can look in on a man's countenance and just tell by that countenance that they're wicked and evil. That's right. Yeah, I believe that. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about me? I think, I don't think you're totally evil. But you I are blasphemous, <laughs> retard. That's possible. You just I, need somebody to. to you just, the you Lord just get, gotta fuck you, you up. You gotta get fucked up first. That's well, all. Then let that shit happen. So we you might lose a leg, fucked up part, lose an arm. Right. He might maim you. Yeah, he might maim you. You don't want that to happen. You really don't want that to happen. That's not gonna happen. But he might mess you oh, up by. Say that. He might mess you up by having a bunch of big black niggas rape your ass in the alley. Woo! And you ain't gonna tell nobody, but you are gonna come different. Your whole life is gonna be different after. You. That's or, just an example. Or a bitch could fuck him up. You know what I'm saying? Do the whole one and rape him, drugging, and You gonna fuck one of them stripper whores? You gonna wake up in the morning? Your whole shit from here all the way up here is gonna be all warts. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of that punishment. Yeah, right, right. I mean, hey, hey, it happens, man. Yeah, it happens. I but see you it. don't want that to happen. <laughs> that's what it takes, man. Oh, no. Uh, I'm glad I didn't have to take what that would take. <laughs> no, I don't want it to take it that I'm all about discipline, man. I just don't like discipline. it. Discipline? That go back to the word disciple. Discipline, man. But you don't like the 12 disciples. Here you I go. didn't say that, man. I didn't say I didn't like the 12 disciples. I don't believe Jesus was the man that everybody says he is, man. It's just not. Oh, well, you're right, because he, he's the son of God. Here you go. This is Proverbs 3 and 11. My son. Despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be wary of his correction. Right, because we're chastising you. That's what we're supposed to do. But hold up. If it wasn't for the, for the Son of the Most High, if it wasn't for that New Testament, we wouldn't even be out here. We wouldn't even be having this conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. For whom the Lord loveth, he corrected. Even as a father the son in whom he delighted, happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that get it understand. Right, I was happy when I found this with him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It was like- we Shut our lives down. It was like hitting the lottery. Oh man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the jackpot, it's like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Yeah. Now I've had a dream and I remember how I felt in my dream when I actually hit the lottery and I remember how it was like 50 million and how good I felt, you know what I'm saying? This truth, knowing I'm waking up every day still be able to push this truth, man, and it's still in my mind, it's the same feeling. Same feeling, man. Uh, Same feeling. We only we only got a short time. Short time. While we, while we, while well, well, time is short. But if you want to talk about the human lifespan, we don't live that long. All right. But we got a short time. While we're here, we're gonna do this work. We're gonna make use, good use of our time on this piece of shit planet. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Here you go, Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing, the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Yeah, so it's, a, it's time to, you in a slumber, bro. 
you the days. You day you motherfucking man. What's that song? You days to confuse you so long. What's that shit? This is 7 and 29. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wise be as though they had none, and they that weep as though they wept not, and they that rejoice as though they rejoice not, and they that buy as though they possess not. Point is, the Lord saying you better wake the hell up because I'm on my way. Smart enough, find wisdom, get understanding. Bro. <coughs> All about wisdom and understanding. Because so when the time comes, man, only wisdom and knowledge is going to sustain you in this chaos that's about to pop off. Only wisdom and knowledge, man. You're going to need wisdom to deal with what's going to be going on around you. You know? We you ain't going to know to go outside and run or hide. You we, know? We ain't going to be here forever to teach your ass. That's right. One day you can come out here and we ain't going to be nowhere to be found. And ain't going to come back out here no more. Man, that's because he realized one day that what you're preaching right now is fake. Oh. And he went to <laughs> now that's going to be really be part of your life and die uh, and repent it. Family, man. Family, and embrace that family love. Family of the word. Family of the word. Repentance. Family repentance. I got to go, man. I gotta how can you teach repentance if you don't believe in all? There is no repentance in the Old Testament. Yeah, there is, man. What are you talking about? Repentance is is taking What's a lamb, going up to an altar, and then right, asking so God. Where's your altar? Where you sacrifice a lamb? How many lands do you sacrifice this week? I would if I could, man. Oh, you would have? Well, your ass got to pay. What happens if you commit adultery? You got to get put to death right? no ifs, ands, or buts. There's no forgiveness for that. It's death, according to the, to, to the law. There is no even discussing it. Put to death. Stone your ass with stone. That's in right. the Old Testament. That's what it says. Yeah, adultery true. gets put to death. There's no repentance for an adultery in the Old Testament. None. I never committed adultery. <laughs> if you commit, if you commit a break one of the least commandments, you gotta go sacrifice pigeons. You gotta sacrifice a lamb. Now you ain't sacrificed no lamb. You, you, know, go. you ain't got a farm. Amos eight and eleven. Behold, the days come, said the Lord Power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, oh, yeah. nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Yeah, soon there's gonna be a famine of this word. Right now, the Lord is a. Uh, putting this word out there. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, it's easy to obtain right now if yeah. you want it. Well, how, how, we've been out here for years. So yeah. he's put us out here. We Plus, can't say we ain't been we out We ain't here. the only ones. We got brothers all over the world teaching. Mm -hmm. So there's no excuse right now. Yeah. We're, we're in every major city cursing motherfuckers out and teaching brothers, yeah. waking yeah. brothers yeah. up. Yeah. That. Well, adios, homie. Adios. All right, bro. It's always a pleasure to meet you guys. I, told I, you I before. can't shake hands with a blasphemy. We told uh, you before. You're, you're a heretic, bro. We, we told you before. Beware them buses and cars and them big black niggas. <laughs> hey, happens, I'll tell you. Yeah, I know you won't. Yeah, Coke was dangerous. Hey, you better watch out. Them buses going. You be crossing the street, not paying attention. Bam! Hey, the Lord got creative ways to get your ass. Yeah, maybe, dude. I can't even think of those ways. He got ways that I we mean, can't even think of. But you never know. A goddamn lion could escape from the zoo. You ever heard of a bug that can get inside you and live inside you and grow? Go inside your ear. Ooh, my oh, you mean like, yeah, man, there's a ton of them in you right now. You mean like on Star Trek, <laughs> the Wrath of Khan, yeah, the yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, the that's bugs right. bugs went up in your ear. Mm. You could be sleeping at night, little bugs crawling up in your ears and shit. A roach. <laughs> a ro oh, yeah, a roach going there, laying some eggs up in there. Oh. That's what happens when you don't clean your sheets. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's what happens when you blast me the uh, name of the Lord. You start to live with bed bugs. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what you got to do. Nah, uh, I'll see you guys. All right. Later. All right, bro. All right, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that funny, dog? Before we get money, so they end up cutting each other out. Yeah, what kind of shit is that? <laughs> they ain't give us shit. <laughs> they ain't give us shit. Look, just like last week. Satan against Satan. On that last yeah, week, right. Same same. we had that fine asshole that was out here last week. Somebody, she gave uh, some piece of shit money. Did she? Yeah, she didn't give us shit. Wow. They always do that. Mm -hmm. they, they'll give their money to the wicked, but they'll never help the righteous. Mm -hmm. Always. Mm -hmm. Every time. Mm -hmm. Never fails. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was thinking about that bitch was out here last week. Uh, 
I gotta watch the video, man. Oh, uh, y'all gotta watch the video. Now. I got this on that. That's She's pretty. Yeah, I knew it right. Oh, yeah. That's yours. That's yours. I know. I need me a bitch like that. She is pretty, man. I don't give a fuck what she believes. I don't give a fuck what she believes. Beat the truth in her. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that bitch. I like the way she. she, she I like the way she looks. Yeah, you know? she's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. She was out here for a long time, yeah, too. She was here for over an hour. Yep. Well over an hour. <laughs> well, no. I want to go back to that proper experience. Oh, yeah. You, you can't even do a proper video with that guy. No, uh, I really can't. Really can't. How much time's left? Does that say on that camera? No. So, all right. Cause, well, I know we, that camera ain't going to last forever. I lost my... I, I don't know where my other battery is. I can't fucking find it. I can't believe that asshole came out here. Man. He's gonna keep them out here, man. He likes it. He, like I said, each time he was worse. Mm -hmm. yep, I mean, yeah, that's totally true. He bugged out, bro. He bugged out of his mind. He, he's an actual, you, he's an obvious non-believer, for real. Before he was like, oh I yeah, love Jesus. He loves Jesus, going mm -hmm. to church. Mm -hmm. He just got further and further away. People. What about love? Each we, week. We try to Every tell week. people, man, when you reject the truth, the most high fucks you up, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You send a parasite in your brain. The right, and it's all, yeah, it's the, like you always say, the, the mental punishment is worse than the physical. You Way can, worse. You can see that dude's mind was all messed up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think like mm -hmm. deep down inside that mm -hmm. you might be okay. I don't, you know. <laughs> right, but he's right. bugged the fuck out. Right now, yeah. He's yeah. bugged the fuck well, out. You know, if you never know, because when the time comes, the Lord might fuck him up and bring him in. You yeah. never know. No, you never know. You never know. It just ain't his time to come in yet. Just like, for example, like early, like 2000, it wasn't our time to come in yet. Till what, 207? Yep. Till 2007? That was our time to come in yet. And I seen Israelites before. Oh, that dude's, in the 90s, through that the dude's 90s, young. you know? I saw Israelites through the 90s before, but, but it didn't draw me to them because they weren't pushing the truth anyway. But lucky for me, I mean, actually, I, you know, I, I'm glad the Most High woke me up. It took me until I was 30 damn years old. Right, bro. right. I'm just grateful, bro. I wish, I, I wish he would have gave it to me 30 years ago, but it ain't oh, the way it did it, you know? Yeah, it would have been nice. Most High. But we got it now. We yeah. got that kid now. That's all that matters. That's all that matters, man. You know? Yeah, because I, mean, I could imagine how it must be growing up uh, 10 years old. Even 18 years old knowing the truth. How, how marvelous would that be? Oh my God, going to school talking bold to your teacher. You know how much shit I would know now if I started way back then? Yeah. That's amazing Man. thinking about it. Yeah, because it's, it's unlimited. Because the most high gives you so much knowledge, it's crazy. Man. Yeah. <laughs> it's unlimited. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, man, I know. We don't really know nothing. I mean, we know the truth. We got 100% truth. But Man, we're, we're we know, we, we do babies, know, we, yeah, we're still babies, but we know a lot of shit. Show that right, show that right now, man. The most high is a spirit of quickening. It's mud on a truck or go. It give you that, it give you that knowledge. When the most high wakes up to this truth, he gives, he gives you that knowledge with the quickness, man. It's kind of like that movie, The Matrix. How they gave Neo the knowledge, they just plugged that thing into his brain and just downloaded it. Yeah. Yeah. That's almost as fast out the most high raise you up, man. Because he wanted us out here in a hurry, bro. Right. He wanted us out here in a hurry. I learned a lot of shit fast, bro. Yeah, 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 you yeah. Know? And he got us out here quick. Got us out here quick. Sure did, man. Now here, we done put in work, man. Now we done. It's obvious that we out here teaching that because we done took the spirit out of OSU. But like he said, <laughs> we're still really babes, though. Yeah, OSU you know? got no the juice. The wisdom of the most high, his foolishness, right. the most high's foolishness is wiser than the word, the wisdom of this world. You know. Oh, I got a scripture fed. Check this out. I mean, we are we don't literally drink this motherfucking whole university of his of his of his pride, man. I mean, I'm talking about they used to attack us constantly. Every week we knew we was gonna get attacked, man, when we came out here. Now it ain't. We would be happy if motherfucker come up here and ask questions, man. Yeah, <laughs> and they all juiced out. Yep, yep. Well, I remember <laughs> started teaching. It wasn't no question. <clears throat> You said one false, one wrong word. <laughs> confrontation. I was cursing your ass out. <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't man. do that shit. Well, I still do it. You know? Man, I got a scripture. Uh, me, go ahead. Um, this is Colossians 1 and 16. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in the earth. 
visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is for and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn, from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. Pre preeminence. Tongue twister. For it pleased the Father that in him shall all fullness dwell. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself, by him I say whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. And you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now have the re now hath he reconciled. Yeah, that That's was us. That was too. us though. That's why your boy talking this man is saying the New Testament is bullshit. Fuck the fuck out of his goddamn mind. They, they, if you don't believe in the Son of the Most High, there is no rec reconciliation. That's right. There's that's no right. forgiveness. That's right. For that's, sin. Right. that's right. That's you, right. You gotta pay the po motherfucking piper. <laughs> that's right. You gotta, you gotta pay for your fucking crimes. He talks some blasphemous shit, man. Yeah, like, I, I, I couldn't take shit, that man. shit. I was really wanting to punch him. Yep, yep. That's right. I, mean, I couldn't take it serious, bro. Talking that shit. In the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unprovable in his sight. Hey, your boy ain't no, ain't no worse than when a Muslim teaches. Muslim teaches the same goddamn thing. Oh, uh, he was just the, the one they called Jesus was just a man. Just a man. He was just a man. Mm -hmm. He didn't actually die on the cross. Mm -hmm. They say he survived the cross. They do sound like them Khazars. That's so-called Jews push that shit, man. They sound just like this. Because the so-called Jew, they the ones who make all those documentaries on the History Channel. And all the documentaries talking about the, the missing years of Jesus. Uh, what was he doing in those missing years? Oh, uh, Lord. Was he really the son of God? Right. And they, they, they plant all these demonic seeds inside of your brain. Goddamn Amalekites. You know what I mean? That's what <laughs> they do. Goddamn Amalekites. Because uh, uh, TV <coughs> programs is a form of magic. Okay, mm -hmm. that's what it is. It's a, literally fucking. I'm not just being speaking in parables. TV shows are literally magic. Okay, it's witchcraft, and it, it puts a goddamn spell on your ass, man. It plays the right music in certain tones and certain music mm -hmm. sparks certain emotions and feelings in your mind. Mm -hmm. And they'll play certain music while they're saying certain words and you mix all that all, all together that's, that's a magical spell oh. being put on your oh, ass. Oh yeah, that the, the, with, um, the pharmaceutical drugs they take, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? All of it combined, keep everybody on their drugs. Plus keep... they say they have a, like Alex Jones always talked about, how they have a, a certain frame rate on a show and a certain, certain flicker rate on a TV mm -hmm. that you, uh, the human eye can't even detect the, the flickering. I think, uh, I think each, um, I think each frame, each second is like 23 frames or 24 frames. On the 24th, they put that message. Oh yeah, because I know your subconscious don't pick up. Your subconscious picks up, but your conscious don't pick it up. Yeah, right. And they they throw a little sub, uh, subliminal messages in there, mm -hmm. and they uh, play certain tones and sounds that put you in a uh, dreamlike state. Right, right. You know. Right. And now they got technology. They got the um, they got the cameras now that are. Uh, that record shit even faster yeah. that, you know, that was the old way when it was like well, 23, it's, 24 it's frames a second. It's 29, actually. It's it's 29. It was, I knew it was somewhere in yeah, there. 29. You know, but now they can, it's even better because everything's digital now. Yeah, same you with know? video games, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like most video games, they had 29, but some of them are up in like 60, Oof. you know, frames a second. So they can put a lot of shit in there. Yeah. A lot of shit that your subconscious is going to pick it up, but your conscious is going to kill it. Just yeah, because even at 29 frames a second, that's a... That's stupid. That's a lot. Because mm -hmm. a lot of cartoons, the modern cartoons are only like eight yeah, frames a second. Straight up? Wow, I didn't know that. I would think that would cost a few more. Well, you they do that so they don't got to draw as much. Yeah, right, right. But all the old Bugs Bunny cartoons, all that was all 29. That's a lot of fucking drawing. Yeah, but they do that shit. Man. Well, they had a love for it then back then. They had a love for it. Everything in back in the old days was all about quality. Mm -hmm. and the, you car tell too. the cartoons were well, of a way higher quality back in the uh, pre World War II and right after World War II. That's when everything in the 
America was top notch quality, you know? Mm. Look, go, go, go to the store to get a skillet to cook something on now. It's going to be made out of Teflon or what's that shit? What's the, the, the covering that they put over it? Yeah, it ain't Teflon. Teflon, it causes cancer. Yeah, <laughs> but the skillet won't last but a, a year maybe. Yeah, right, right. You gotta toss it out because it's ruined. Mm -hmm. But back in the 50s, the, everything they sold was like iron skillets. All iron. If you bought an iron skillet back in 1950, you, you, like you still have it. Like it it's gonna outlast you. My mom still got those old school skillets. I remember when I was a kid. She still got them. I was just thinking about it because my mom was just talking about it. Right. She's like, they don't make these like, like this no more. Right. <laughs> iron skillets. Iron skillets. All right. She got a whole collection of them. She loves them motherfuckers. They're a bad weapon too. Yeah. My mama hit my dad plenty of times. Just like the, just look at the old muscle cars. But all the old cars, period. They was all made out of steel. You get in a wreck, your car barely get damaged. For real. You know what I mean? And you still have your health. Now if you get in a minor accident, your car is totaled now. And you in the ER. Cars made out of fucking fiberglass. <laughs> right. And you know what I mean? Yep, a light aluminum. Yeah, they aluminum. They put a whole lot of that light aluminum. Oh, the frames are made out of aluminum. Mm -hmm. That's why they bend it. Yeah, yeah aluminum is like one of the softest metals. Yeah, because now you can look at a car, if you've been in an accident, and a, prof a, a, a frame. specialist come out and we look at it, now, the car's total. Your frame's fucked. It's the frames. Yeah. When your frame's fucked, it's all over. Yeah. Yep. I've seen people drive down the street that repairs their cars, frame is still fucked up, and the car is crooked. But and it's, it's going straight, but it's crooked. That's a good you never seen that? Yeah, I've seen that. That's some bugged out shit, man. That's your boy out here. It's a rhyming song. Your boy out here, yeah, he had an aluminum <laughs> frame. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? His shit was off. He stripped us the truth, Benny Maul. Yeah, 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 he had a... That's just like having a bad foundation. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. It's like building your house on sand. <laughs> you know, you right, right. float away into the goddamn sea. <laughs> For real. Our foundation is a solid rock. A, a mountain. Real. Yeah, the anchor. Yep. You know? That's amazing, man. Motherfuckers just blow the fuck out, man. That's crazy. Mo I, I just kind of actually. It's awesome, actually. Yeah, it is. That's, awesome. that's, 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 that's I love seeing it, bro. That's yeah. witnessing how the most hot fuck your ass up. Mm -hmm, that's right. We told you these gonna get fucked up the last time we talked to them. Just like the brothers that came out last week that ain't here today, man. They uh, We told me life wasn't gonna be the same, too. And they came out last week and said that. Dude you know? said he stopped eating pork. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, they did the opposite. They listened <laughs> instead of. Uh... Did we get their contact? Did you get a number or anything? I probably can find it in my phone though. Okay. I can probably find it in my phone. Just in case, we might have to harass him. Now, my phone don't ring too much, so I can definitely find it. You know, with Jake, if you don't get on his ass, he ain't gonna do shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need a foot in his ass to make him go teach. <laughs> For real. <laughs> but now they're watching our videos, so if y'all watching our videos. Yeah, don't be acting thinking we ain't forgot about it. Right, this ain't a this ain't a um, sometime thing. This ain't a part time thing. Y'all get a script. For the that. learning, the teaching, the learning is not part time. None of this shit is part time. This is something you gotta continue on. And your brothers that that wants to come out here, you ain't we ain't got don't just come out here on post. Or, or just come out here and learn. They just talk to us. Right. You know, just come out here and just either one, man. Yeah, because uh, we ain't putting that pressure on your ass to teach yet. Yeah. I'd be out here learning too. Right, we right. That's right, that's right. Like I, I, what we saying off camera last week, uh, you don't really even start learning <coughs> the truth until you start teaching. Until you start getting, yeah. Okay, yeah. you might think you know something, but you ain't really started learning until you started teaching. Mm -hmm. That's when the knowledge really starts flowing in. For real. And I can't explain it to you until you tr start teaching. You got you know what I'm saying? This is bugged out because we totally different from when we first started to now, man. Right. There's not even a resemblance, man. Totally you, different, Because you ain't going to learn. If you ain't out doing the work, the Most High is not going to bless you with knowledge. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're going you gonna to say on, this, on one low level. Right. Let me, uh, just like Dave. Dave just stuck, stuck where he is, man. And we just had a conversation with the dumb young motherfucker the other day, man. A couple weeks ago, and you don't don't want to come out. Just don't want to come out, man. Uh, Revelation 13 and uh, actually not 13, three and uh, 14. I'm I need a new Bible. I've been saying that for like two years now. I've been trying to find one though. I, I, 
got to give me a good one. pages, man. I just can't. I don't want just I'm any I'm going to get one of the Nelsons. I like the Nelsons. Those are pretty good. In that, uh, hold on. These pages are nice to turn. They don't rip easy. I can't stand these pages. You've you had that one for a minute, then. Yeah, this is my first this Bible. Oh, yeah. came the truth in God. See, I know. And I got this Bible from a demon, an actual demon. <laughs> man, her mom gave it to me. Just chocolate. I'm talking about a bad chocolate young girl. She was 22 years old, man. Yeah, but she don't need that. Young girl, <laughs> man. Young girl, man. Chocolate and voluptuous. <laughs> I, was a, I was abusing that. This, I was abusing this pussy, man. Until this bitch came to her crib one day, I'm already there asleep. And she tells me that that dude that got the big ass church out east. Uh, uh, made, parsley? Yeah, made, he made somebody's arm and leg grow while she was right there. She said she watched it grow. I was like, I gotta like, get away from this demon. Rob Parsley be trying to get him. He trying to step his shit up. He talking about the Federal Reserve now. Wow. Talking about the Illuminati and some shit. He trying to act like he's going deep, you know what I mean? Because right. his congregation right, right. asking his ass questions, <laughs> and he's like, "Oh shit!" He got to have answers. Yep. He got to have answers, man. But Rob, you know Rob Parsley's an Israelite. Yeah. And there's no doubt. He can talk more like a brother than I never seen anybody. <laughs> he can talk that jive. Hey, he's around a lot of black more than anything. Right. More he is. Anything. He more be talking anything. shit about white people. Yo, oh my God! I don't. I ain't, I ain't listened to that? fucking years, man. Rob, I ain't listened to Rob Parsley like four or five Rob years. Rob Parsley, man. you're full of shit. <laughs> okay. We right. all know you're full of shit. You fucking money greedy bastard. You money grubbing greedy motherfucker. He's, a, he's probably a billion. He probably, yeah, he got, billion, he probably got billions. Yep, that yep, yep, yep. Cause that university built is huge, man. That's, That's a, a big ass school, man. He got that favorite. All he talks about is sow your seed of faith. Mm. Hey, talking about sow your seed of faith is talking about sending that fucking check in. <laughs> giving his ass money. Hey, that's all Some he talks about. I ain't heard that name in years, uh, man. Rob Parsley. Rob Parsley. I used yeah, to watch. Rob Parsley. I used to watch his ass on the Jesus TV <laughs> years ago. At first, I thought he was a good Christian preacher. Yeah, man, that university is built <laughs> bigger. It's as big as Columbus State, man. Uh, he's the biggest church in Columbus. Mm -hmm. period, you by, know? Far, by far, by far, by far, by far. Your boy Guy used to go to his church. Did he? Yeah. Damn. Damn. But yeah, Rob Parsley's a piece of shit. <laughs> Revelation three and fifteen. I know that works. That thou art neither cold nor hot. Mm -hmm. I would that thou were cold or hot. So the most I said, look, you're either in it, in the truth all the way or not at all. We ain't got no time for people sitting <coughs> on the fence or thinking maybe I should go out next week or maybe, a, right, right, oh, right. not next week, I'll go out the week after that. <laughs> no. <laughs> he says, so then because thou art lukewarm, lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. That's right. That's right. Because thou sayest, I am, oh, that's the point, actually. We can read the rest of it, but that's the point. So the Most High is not looking for somebody who ain't in it all the way, man. The Lord ain't looking for nobody like that. For real, man. I feel sorry for the motherfuckers that did learn this truth and it fell out, man. Because he, this threat, he, Most High, get threatened with that, too. Oh, yeah, if you fall out of the truth, something's wrong with you, man. This marvelous thing. The marvelous truth. Where's that at all? What you looking for? Um, my brother's phone right now. Let me just read this here. I know what you're talking about, too. I'm trying to think. There's right, a few right, of them. Right, right. This one comes to me. For if after they had escaped the pollutions of the world, I'm sorry, let me pull it out. Second, this is Second Peter 2 and um 20. For if that for if after they have escaped the pollution of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Yahweh, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. Oh yeah. That's what that's what I was looking for. That's exactly what I was yeah, looking for. Yeah, that's a good one. Because once it's using this truth, and then you fell out, woe unto you. What's <laughs> <laughs> up, homie? For it had been better for them not 
to have known the way of righteousness. Then after they have known it, to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. That goes back to being lukewarm. You either on mm -hmm. fire mm -hmm. or you're cold as ice. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You're either hot or cold. There's no in between. No in between. You, you know what I'm saying? You're either all in or all out. That's right. Most, what? most people are all out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't no sitting the bench. <laughs> sitting the bench, right. Yeah. Everybody starters in this. Motherfucking cheerleaders. Yeah, we all starters. <laughs> we're all starters. <laughs> yeah, we all starters. We're all captains. <laughs> hey, this ain't, yeah, this ain't no army reserves. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, Weekend right. Weekend warriors. <laughs> yeah. Right. But it is happening to them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned to his own vomit again. That's a, that's a good you know, We're the nation of Israel. Sure. No, we're the nation of Israel. You know the so-called Jews over there in Israel right now? Yeah. They're a bunch of devils. They're not, they're not even real Jews, you know that? You know what they're doing right now as we speak? They're over there blowing up little Palestinian children. They done killed like 400 Palestinians already. Mm -hmm. And how many Jews have died? One. 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 And they on the news talking about all the Palestinians are terrorists. Mm -hmm. The motherfucking so-called Jews are terrorists. They're the devil. Hey, get Revelation 2 and 9. That's right. That's right. We're the real Jews, bro. Those are not the real Jews. Don't you know the real Jews are the most numerous people on earth? Well, the real Israelites, I should say. Jews short for one tribe, Judah. There's 12 tribes. The Israelites are the most numerous people on earth. We're more numerous than the stars of heaven and more numerous than the sands on the seashore. We so bad that you see an Israelite, you don't even look like an Israelite. You won't even know he's an Israelite. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, because Jesus was black. Did you know that? You didn't know Jesus was black? You ain't see this picture right here? Well, let's play baseball, bro. Revelation 1 and 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He got woolly hair. Did he got woolly hair? Mm -hmm. And those so-called Jews over there in Israel, did any of them have woolly hair? Mm -hmm. Not That's a single one of them. That's right. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Right, fine brass, so he had dark colored skin. He was a dark skinned man. Brass. You know what I mean? As burning a furnace. And it was even darker. You put brass in the oven, heat it up, it gets darker. And he didn't have long hair either. The scriptures say, is it a shame for a man to have long hair? It, it says, does not nature itself teach you that if a long man, a, a man have long hair, it's a shame? He's quoted the oh, Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> That's Corinthians 11. Yeah. Because yeah, you ain't supposed to be growing long hair like a woman. They That's always, feminist. They try to say that the Lord and he got long hair. You know what I'm saying? And the, the New Testament tells you not to have long hair. That's right. This is Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works and tribulations in poverty. Oh yeah, it says, read, read that again. This is talking about us, the real Israelites. Read Revelation that. 2 and 9. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty. In poverty, we're poor, okay? Are the so-called Jews over there in the state of Israel poor? They own all the banks, okay? You ever hear of uh, every last bank on the planet?